What's new in Python 3.13? Python 3.13 recently launched in beta, so it's worth taking a look at it. Let's start by executing scripts in the background, which will speed up the process of long-term tasks. To check the process of the task being performed, use the task name dot as a live command. A godsend for programmers will be improved debugging, which will make error codes more human. For example, if we unknowingly import a library with the same name as one of our files, the debugger will inform us about it. Python will collect garbage in the code for us, so if we do not use an object, it will be removed from memory. The biggest novelty is the use of the JIT, just-in-time compiler, which you can read about in detail on Wikipedia. The only thing worth knowing is that it increases performance by generating machine code for a given processor, thanks to which the code is interpreted faster, but for now it is an experimental function. Interestingly, Python supports mobile applications for iOS, or rather iOS supports Python, which means that from Python you will be able to create applications using, for example, Kivi. The new version also allows the use of all processor cores so that threads can be executed independently of each other at the same time. Additionally, the modules that are currently displayed on the screen have been refined. You can check them in the official Python documentation. If you want more news or curiosities about Python and programming in general, I encourage you to check out this playlist, Happy Hacking.